Hi all, this is Hot Angel and this will be a review for the new Ego Booster owned in Canada now by Artisan Vaping. And here is the presentation box that it comes in. And when you open up the box, first of all you're going to get your little instruction sheet. And then inside the big box is a smaller box and that's your presentation box. And it just opens up like that and it's a nice little like a ring box that it comes into. Really nice presentation. And then you just pop that out of there and you can put this on any Ego Bat and it'll work for you. Um, you can't use this on knockoff bats, on Rivas or anything like that. It just doesn't work properly. Um, so you can, it only has to be a, gentle, a genuine Joy Ego or a Gen Ego I'm sure would work too. But you can't use these on your Rivas or your other your other Ego knockoffs like that. Um, you can also use this if you had I don't have it yet, it's, it's still in the mail, but if you had a 510 to 510 connection, you can also use the Ego Booster on one of your mods, like I could use it on my Marks mod or anything with a 510 connection. You could do 510 to 510 and then it would, you could be able to use it on that. Now if you use it on uh, one of your mods, it definitely has to be a high drain battery. Uh, you can check out the FAQ on the ECF about the Ego Booster. I'll put a link down in the description of that. You should definitely check that out, but they're definitely recommended high drain bats only or your genuine Ego bats on that. I will show you the instructions and how the dial works. If the dial is straight up and down with the air design pointing up, then you're going to get 4 volts. If you do counterclockwise, all the way over you get 4.7 and clockwise gives you 3.3 all the way to the end um, so you can just vary that and just find exactly where you want to vape at and that's kind of a cool thing uh, we said that whoever came out with a an ego that would do 5 volts or close would be a genius and this way you can basically have any ego in your collection basically doing that for you which is, which is nice um, I will check it out here with a normal, this is just a normal Addy. I think this is like a 3 ohm Addy from Happy Vapor that I got a long time ago. Let's check the voltage. This is all the way to 4.7. So it goes in incredible vapor. It's a nice warm hit. Um, I'm basically doing it a little bit less than that is my comfort but I will show you all the way to the other end at to the 3.3. It's really quite a lot less. Um, I have been mostly using this with just a normal Bogue cartomizer and it's been working really well that way. I'll try that one at 3.3. I'll put that one all the way up to 4.7 now. Just gives you clouds of vapor at 4.7. This is really feels really close to like my 5 volt regulated saber touch it's not quite there but it's really close so myself I'm finding probably I don't have a adapter to tell me exactly what that's doing but I believe this is about 4.4 is where I'm liking it you can put the ego cone onto these and it will attach and screw down if you want to have that that sleek look of the cone. Myself, I do not use the Ego cone, so I don't do that. I, you know, basically think that this unit, you know, works the way it says it does on the site. It goes up, it goes down. It is not, does add quite a bit of length to your Ego. I'd say an extra two and a half to three inches there and it is draining my batteries quite a bit faster maybe taking an hour or an hour and a half off the time during the day of my batteries so it is draining them faster now 
I will say, I won't lie, this is, I think, going to be harder on your ego bats. It's going to be like using a dual, cart, dual coil on them, or it's going to be like using a low res atomizer. Pulling that extra amperage is going to put a bit of strain. It's not going to kill them right out, but it's going to make them die faster than they would if you just use a regular Addy on them. Um, it was explained on the ECF that basically it solidifies the, the liquid in the battery and so it doesn't, it won't hold a, hold a charge for you eventually. Um, but I haven't had that happen to any of my batteries so far. I've been doing it for nine days and it's been going. So I might not recommend this to somebody who only has one or two Ego batteries, but somebody that like me that has six or eight or ten Ego batteries hanging around and you just like to have something that's small and portable and a higher voltage, this is definitely a recommendation for someone like that who has just every ego everything like me and lots of bats on their on their person and like I said you can stick it on your different mods with 510 to 510 connection assuming you have a high drain battery always use high drains with it I'm thinking this would be a really good setup if you have one of these ego PPCs because on the go, you're not going to be able to just put it in there, but it's quite a, a long unit all assembled. But in your purse, you could put your little battery there, and you could put this on the side, and then it's going to hold it all snugly for you. And then you also have a charger available that you could charge this on the go, because like I said, it is going to drain your batteries a little faster. And this way you could have a couple of batteries and your, your booster. You could even lose this juice bottle and put an extra battery so I have three batteries with you on the go and the booster um, because it is kind of tricky because I know I have little pockets in my purse that I'm used to putting my ego bats in but it's a little bit longer now with the booster into it but I am really enjoying it it's a I got this last Wednesday and it's now Sunday so about 10 days I've been using it So I'd say the pluses are that you're going to have a, an ego that basically is going to perform almost like a Proveri or, or Darwin, one of those bigger high voltage mods that are very voltage, um, but it's going to be a little bit smaller for you. Not quite as tiny as an ego, but it's definitely small. You can def definitely still drive with this and everything. Um, as far as issues so far, I did have this connection come off of me a few days into it um, but I did email Jack and the artisan people and they are going to be fixing this connection in the future so it won't happen like that what happened is I basically pulled off my drip tip and this came apart on me like this so inside you can see there is just there's the booster chip and your, your wires that hold it on but I was able just to push it back in and then it still works for me. So hopefully in the future they're going to be putting a little bit more glue there. I think I just had a drip tip that was a little bit too snug so it popped off on me. Um, he is sending me a, a new booster so I thought I would get this review of this weekend before I send this one back to him because they're going to send me a new unit and I know with even though this is new and there might be a few snags in it Jacket Happy Beeper is going to stand by his products like he always has and so if there's issues you should have no problems in returning it. Um, he ships to Canada, of course he's in Canada, he ships to the US, all over the world. He has super fa fast shipping and great customer service. Uh, my first e-cigarette came from him almost two years ago and I'm still dealing with Jack. He's a good dealer to to deal with um, and as far as artisan vaping this is the first I've heard of the artisan uh, but I am sure that when more dealers around the world hear about this then they're gonna be trying to make deals with him because the next thing that this will be in different vendors around the world so 
whoever gets to this dealer first basically makes the deal is going to have the U.S. deal for it and the European deal and so on and so forth. But right now the only place that you can get it is happyvapor.com. I will put links in the description to Happy Vapor and where you can get it. I believe he is sold out at the moment, but he will be getting more in very soon. So that's about it. Like I said, it, it works like it like a charm. It's definitely exactly what I wanted. I really I can't drive with big giant mods, even though I have lots of them. I like driving with my ego. It's my favorite e-cigarette period and this definitely gives it a boost for sure um, so I could definitely recommend this one um, thanks for watching guys and have a great weekend